so I got this stain. It is uh, mahogany. I figured, I don't know, I just kind of like the way it looked from the customer review pictures. Don't know how it's going to turn out in practice, but, you know, color is nice, but the main thing is it's, it's also a sealer, so that's the main thing. We want to weatherproof this. It's supposed to rain tonight or tomorrow, um, so I wanted to try my best to get something up on this thing. So we'll see how it goes. I don't really know what you're supposed to do about the rafters and stuff. I might try to get some on there, but you really need to get up there with a brush or something to detail that. So I'm mostly going to focus on the T111. <sighs> Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> I don't have anything to do cleanup, so let's see how much of a disaster this can turn out to be. So one of the issues that I'm going to be facing is, you know, this, this wood has all taken a few hits along the way. And on some of this T111, I know that there's like, Maybe some dirt, maybe some mildew, fungus kind of build up on it. That pink stuff that we keep seeing. I don't really have a way. I haven't cleaned it. I tried brushing it off yesterday the best I could. Didn't really seem to be working. Ooh. Looks a bit more red than I was expecting. I actually bought better uh, rollers than this, but I might try these first just to see how they work before I open up that pack. Fortunately, I was lazy about getting these old jugs cleaned up, so I'm going to try to make a, a ladle out of this. These are the other ones that I got, and it's supposed to be more for, like, you know, semi-rough surfaces. Alright, so here we are so far. Can't really tell much because of the sun, I guess, but I'm trying to go around all the sides and get what I can reach from the ground. I don't know why I start burping as soon as I hit record. <laughs> so I'm trying to get whatever I can reach, and then... I gotta finish this side. Um, then I'm gonna get my $40 extension pole and see if it'll help me get all the way up there. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, I got one coat, which is all I may do, on all the walls. 
it's not perfect. Especially with using that extension pole was quite the challenge. Can't really see that well what you're doing. And it's a bit messy, but I did the best I could time being to get everything coated before it rains. This side, this is a little bit wet because I had to do some stuff to it. There was a sticker on the uh, thing and it was annoying and I had to come back and get rid of it and then do it. I really wish I could get the uh, little slits in between, but that's just... The little paintbrush is, I think, meant for paint and not stain, so it doesn't work that well. But I got what I could reach the easiest to use up the last bit of paint in the tray. It uh, definitely looks a lot better when you get it all painted in. I do have to say, though, that... Uh, ooh, this is gonna smell strong. Painting is not something I enjoy. I think maybe that's a pretty common thing. <laughs> Some people like it. I'm not one of them. So that was a very tedious and boring, just, ugh. I did not enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, at least it's done and, you know, it's got a look to it now. I don't know if it's a good look. What I should have done, I think, is got one of those uh, little pump sprayers and tried to do it that way. The only problem is you gotta definitely get up on the ladder. I wanted to use the extension thing, which... It worked, it let me do it, but, man, it was so cumbersome to deal with. Slipping and sliding on these slopes and trying to find somewhere to put the paint pan thing and all that stuff. It was a whole thing. In any case... That's where we are for now. Uh, I've rambled long enough for today. I'm gonna wrap up here and get going. So, uh, hopefully we'll uh, be on our way next time. So I wanted to come back up here and check out how the uh, cabin here fared after all the wind and rain we got. Stain looks like it held up. It did seem to kind of lighten up a little bit or something. I think it would definitely benefit from a second coat, but uh, not going to worry about that right now. Too expensive. and. Uh, I think maybe we can get away with this. We still gotta, you know, do the in-betweens. Uh, probably be a few more days or something, a couple of days before I try to come out and do that because I want to make sure it's all dried out well enough. Well, hello there. We're back on the build today. I've been kind of just piddling around, doing a few things. As you can see behind me, one of the things I did is made these stilts. Uh, so that I can, what I want to try to do is put the board across here and be able to put the ladder on it. Now that sounds crazy and dangerous. <laughs> and I mean, probably is. I don't really like the extension pole for the stain and I got to get up there with a brush. I figured that's probably the best way to go about it is to try and make as secure a platform as I can. Put the ladder on it so I can just climb the ladder up to where I need to be. Another thing that I did today and, uh, no, it's not this. Besides, I got that plastic that was kind of littering the whole property and went and picked all that up and got everything cleaned up. So the mess is only back here. But I did this. Ooh, ah. Uh, those colors don't really go together, do they? <laughs> so anyway, I uh, stained the door, as you can see. It's still kind of wet. Uh, and another thing I did while I had it down, because I had to obviously take it off, is I uh, saw that my hinges were off a bit, so I reset it. This one at the top was too far in. It was, you know, beating up with this over here, pretty much just like that one is. And I was like, wow, that's, that's a bit off. No wonder it's moving. So I moved it back while the door was off of it, 
And as you can see, it doesn't even move. It still creaks, because the hinges probably aren't perfectly straight. Yeah. So anyway, that makes me feel a little better that I kind of got it more balanced. It's not perfect, obviously. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that means, you know, this doesn't line up here. There's a gap there now when it's closed so I was you know I might be taking this off to put some trim up on here anyway so that's not really a big deal I'll fix that later but it still closes still locks as far as I can tell so that's good enough so I came out here yesterday to uh, do what I could with the little in-betweens and I, I bought some actual like staining brushes and uh, they worked a lot better but as you can see the color is different and I'm assuming it's due to the staining brushes maybe carrying more of the the stuff and it goes on thicker and darker like it was dark like this yesterday and I was kind of like, huh, is it going to dry darker? But I thought maybe it was just because it was wet and it's kind of cold. So I was like, well, I'll just check it tomorrow. And it stayed the same color. And this, that's about the color that it's supposed to be, like on the picture. So uh, I'm wondering if it was just the application uh, method that caused the color to be weird. So now I've got this issue of... <laughs> what to do about that. I, I mean, it, it doesn't look horrible. Like I sent a picture to my wife and she said it makes it look kind of rustic. But the thing is, is I think maybe it's not really a deep enough coat. And that color is more the color that I wanted. <sighs> but that's like another $200 to get another bucket of that stain and try to redo all this, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, I gotta figure out what I want to do. I got what I could reach uh, on all the sides. I used my little scaffolding situation over here. I stood on the two by six and I got a bit higher on this one uh, as a result. Almost all the way up on this whole wall here, uh, at least the bottom level. Uh, but this was very shaky. And uh, did not feel good under my feet. I have it all screwed in. I, you know, I tried to make sure it was as safe as possible, but uh, it just didn't feel too solid. I don't know if I really like that method. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else I could do. Maybe even just build a standalone scaffolding kind of thing. So we'll see about that. So what I got done today, I've been up here, and you can see the ladder is set up, and I tethered it because uh, this ground's not level and it's very difficult to get good footing so try to brace it the best I can but you know sometimes it don't work too good so there you go that's what I've been doing it's taking the walnut stain haven't gotten on the outer edge yet of course and trying to do up the rafters and the, the blocking in there I didn't do the uh, strapping Maybe I should have, but I just figured it wasn't necessary. I don't know. I also uh, moved this board out of the way, the whatever, and got the bottom of this. And as you can see, it is also darker. That's really frustrating because that is the color I wanted. So like just being like, oh, whatever, it's just like a weird color thing. You know, it's not that big of a deal. But it's like, that's the color I wanted. That's the dark, rich color I wanted. <laughs> But it's so expensive to try and fix it. Fix it.
Okay, so I got all the in-betweens and the rafter for both ends. And then of course this back side. So the only thing left to stain is that tall front side. So I just got to figure out how I'm going to do that. The ladder, unfortunately, is not going to be tall enough to do it just straight from the ladder. So we'll have to figure out something. Hopefully, I'll be able to come out tomorrow. And if I can get something figured out then, hopefully I can get it all done then. And that would be great. This has been the most... Like, all of the parts that have been difficult, this is like the most dreadful. I have like no interest whatsoever in coming out here and doing this, so... Oh, I'll be glad to get it done, even if it's not done well. Just, just to say it's been done. Well, today I decided to give the trim a shot. I was going to, I planned to do the uh, trim a bit, as you can see. I've got the verticals there, horizontal here, the top verticals over there. And uh, I like the way it looks. Uh, I think it gives it a much more polished finished look, even though the craftsmanship is shoddy like the rest of my work. Um, I didn't finish the bottom one of that because uh, I'm just trying to focus on getting all the high stuff done and then if I run out of boards all I gotta do is get more and think about the low stuff. The idea was to do some of the trim and then get to work on figuring out how I'm gonna do the stain. But my god, was I getting pissed off moving that ladder around trying to get it situated on this sloped ass the property. It is just such a pain in the ass. It took me all day basically. It took all my energy just to do it because like I'm moving the ladder more than I'm working I feel like. Like I had to move the ladder which is cumbersome because like all these leaves are falling and everything which makes it the slope as slippery as it already is even more slippery so I'm like slipping and sliding. It takes way more energy to move around even when I'm not sliding because I'm trying to keep my balance. It takes me like 10 minutes to move the ladder, get it leveled out so it's safe to stand on. Got the straps on it so it doesn't fall to one side or the other. And then I could climb up and do something for a few minutes and then I have to move it again. It's just, my god, ugh, such a pain. But anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do today. I'm just getting, it's like one of those days where you're getting so frustrated. It's just like, I'm just getting pissed off and it's probably not safe because I'm going to start cutting corners too much and everything. So, I'm going to call it a day. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we might be taking another little break. But in any case, we're on our way. And uh, hopefully within the next two or three trips, I'll finally be done with this stain and trim situation. Jeez!
Whoa. Okay then, well we've got two pieces of trim up on the edges, or the corners, and we've got all of this stained in. At least as far as I intend to do it. Uh, on these, here, I ran out of the mahogany and I just had to use the walnut, so it's a little bit of a difference, but due to the weird look of this as it is right now, I don't think that really matters. So now I've got to get the horizontal strip of trim up, and I realized I did that one the other side wrong. I wanted to have my vertical trims come all the way down and then the horizontal go between them. So I either got to pull all that off and redo it, or just leave it that way, on at least on that side. <laughs> It'll, it won't match. Not that that really matters, but I just got to decide how much it matters to me, I guess. But I'm trying to decide now if I should lower my ladder or try to work off of it with the way I currently have it set up, which is kind of precarious. Uh, this is a lot more sturdy than the first attempt that I had of the scaffolding here, but I mean, it's working so far. I got all that done and it didn't feel too shaky or anything, so that was good, but I'm just trying to decide, do I keep going with it or do I just try to uh, get something a little more like close to the ground set up? Anyway, that's what we're off to do next. We're going to try to finish off the trim. My god, if I can get that done today, that would be amazing. Well, there it is. All trimmed up. Obviously, I don't have these lower corners yet. I actually ran out of material. But, uh, I accomplished my objective of getting the top ones. And, uh, I decided just to leave this for now. If I fix it, it'll be later. But, uh, I gotta go get some more material to do these bottom edges here. Whoa! Ugh. But yeah, got all the tops and the horizontal in the middle. Whew! Oh man, I'm uh, glad to have that done until I realize there's something I missed and I'll have to go back up and fix something, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Well, here it is. It's all trimmed up. I uh, fix this one up here. It's still not perfect because there's a, a gap there, but I feel it a little bit better and hopefully have it set up so when I do this, if I'm able to insulate it and then close it in, I can make all that look a little bit better. But as you can see, we got the trim around the door. We got it on all the corners and everywhere that I wanted to put it. The only problem is there's a gap here. Um, on both sides. It gets wider towards the bottom on this one. This one over here though is like pretty consistent. So uh, I don't know. It's what is that? Three-eighths of an inch? Half an inch gap or something? Uh, the reason for that obviously is because I was lining this like the door stop or whatever you want to call it. The door jam. Uh, I was lining it up with the door and that left extra space on the ends. So I would rather have, you know, a seal on the door more so than aesthetics over here. So I just decided to let the gap be. So I just got to figure out, uh, you know, how I want to remedy that little issue and hopefully we're all good. I even uh, stained the posts here. Being that it's treated wood, it looks a little funky to me, but uh, either way, it's stained. So we'll have some matchingness and I'm probably going to try to stain the the deck here, make it all match out here, and then once this is sealed up, do the same for that. So anyway, the staining and trim endeavor has finally come to as close to an end as I can make it right now, I think, so we'll just leave it at that. <sighs> On to the next thing, hopefully.